Hi there folks, welcome back to the IBN and Fishing channel and thank you very much for joining us again for another review in our little corner of YouTube. Don't forget, please, we always say this, if you're not subscribed to the channel and we know who you are, please do do that before you watch the rest of this review. That way you'll be kept in touch with all the news, all the reviews and all the fun stuff that we do in this little corner of the internet. If you are a subscriber, you're a good person and we appreciate your support. Thank you very much. Yeah, another review coming at you at the moment. Really, really cool stuff coming out at the moment. Uh, we've been testing quite a lot of stuff this season. We've been approached by more brands as the channel's growing, and that is down to you guys watching the videos, so thank you very much. Uh, this one's a really interesting one. It's one of those reviews that almost sort of doesn't need doing, but it's a product that people in the UK might not be quite so familiar with. It's a product actually that I became more familiar with. I did some guiding in the Seychelles very briefly. I worked as a guide in the Seychelles off De Roche Island. And when I got out there, I noticed that all of the local guides were using reels from this brand. And I was like, oh, actually, no, I've always known about these guys, but I've never really seen them have much of a brand presence in the UK. So when I found out about a year ago that someone was going to be distributing these in the UK, I was like, ah, that's interesting. It'd be cool to get a hold of one of those. Uh, and that's exactly what we've done. We have got on review today the Shilton CR2 fly reel. Now, for those of you who don't know, Shilton are a South African brand. All the reels are made in South Africa, all hand assembled, all hand machined. Really, really cool reels. A reputation globally for fantastic saltwater reels. As I say, all the guys in the Seychelles are all using Shilton's Giant Trevally, Tuna, stuff like that. They trust these things to stop those fish. In fact, the slogan for Shilton reels is, we stop fish. There you go, <laughs> that pretty much tells you what you need to know about the reels. Now they're a reasonably expensive reel and we'll get onto that pretty soon, but I think at the top end you sort of get different personalities as a reel. Sort of stay with me on this one. So you might have an expensive like classic Hardy Perfect or something and that's fancy and pretty and British and clicky and all that stuff. And then you'll get like the fancy Ables with the fancy finishes and that's really pretty and cool and different. And then, I don't know, maybe Hatch is a bit more techy and all that stuff. Well, if Shiltons were a human being, they'd be a Yorkshireman. <laughs> They're very, very robust, very simple, built of tough stuff for a purpose. These are no frills, high quality top end fly reels and the CR2 that we're about to review is exactly that. So let's get into it. So we'll do sort of an unboxing first. We'll go through the reel first, then we'll go through how it's been to fish with after that. Uh, nice sturdy box. It comes with fancy We Stop Fish logos all over it. We take that out and actually there's something cool here straight away in that the pouch that the reel comes in, just going to drop the box down, the pouch that the reel comes in is really, really high quality, super padded, clear bit on the back so you can put your line ID or perhaps an address or something in there. A nice handle on the top so you can carry it around and enough space in the gap here that you can leave it attached to the rod. So if you want to protect your fly reel, look after it while you're transporting it around. That is a really, really, really high quality padded case. And a light touch is like that. It just lets you know that you've got something in your hands that is really worth the money. There's thought gone into it. Also in the box, you get your operating instructions and stuff like that. It just lets you know how to clean it, how to use it, how to switch it from right to left. And you get a little sticker in there, but we're not gonna worry about that stuff too much for a moment because this is the important bit. So pop this out of the fancy pouch. And in truth, the CR2, while it is pretty in its own way, in its sort of functionality, it's a pretty plain Jane looking reel. You can see what Shilton have done here is just looked at this and gone, right, how big can we make the arbor on this reel? Because it is a large arbor reel, particularly large arbor. And how much weight can we take out of it? And they've drilled this to the point where there's almost nothing there. It is incredibly lightweight. 127 grams this thing weighs all in. Fantastically lightweight, but fairly unremarkable to look at. And that's a, that's a bit of a Shilton thing. They don't look particularly fancy, these reels, but they really, really are something special. Like I say, 127 grams, that's accurate of weight on two sets of scales. It is 127 grams, bang on. 8.8 .8 centimeter diameter on the CR2 here, which is the smallest of the three in the CR series. There's a CR2, three and four, ranging from a size two line right the way up to a size eight. So, so for the UK freshwater angling, a really relevant range of reels, this. There's something for absolutely everybody. Shock horror, this is the black finish, but they do come in a range of type 2 anodized finishes, uh, black, turquoise, gold, titanium, red, and some other options as well. I really like the black, I think it just looks nice and simple, nice and rugged. In terms of capacity, actually not a huge reel, so I had a four-way uh, Scientific Anglers MPX on this and probably only got about 50 metres of 20 pound backing on the back of it, but let's be honest, 50 metres plus your 30 metre fly line 
plus three or four meters of leader maybe if you let a trout get 100 meters away from you while you're trout fishing something's gone seriously wrong in the uk so actually i think it's quite a sensible size in terms of the construction we're talking really high quality aluminium here 6028 T6 bar stock aluminium, really, really high quality. It's the same stuff they use right the way through their reel range. This stuff is absolutely indestructible. And in conjunction with that type to anodize, and you're talking about something here that's going to last and last and last, and it's going to be very, very difficult to mark this reel or scratch it. Very, very sturdy finish. Nice, simple spool release on this one, a little bit different to their saltwater reels, which are a bit more complicated. This is a very simple, pop the little lever down and it pops straight off. The spool is ludicrously light. There is almost no weight there at all. It's just like holding air. It's fantastic, but it's so sturdy. There's no, you know, pushing pretty hard on that. That has not flinched there. Really, really strong reel. Very, very sturdy. But we want to talk about this bit here. So we've got here a single rotation drag system that goes from 0 to 100 within 360 degrees and a nice positive click in there. So you sort of know where you're going. There's nothing against the spool to mark it, so you can like leave it set and know where you are, but I don't mind that too much. You sort of play around with that as you fish and get it set on the day. But inside there, you've got a carbon fiber and stainless steel disc system in there that's giving you a really, really low startup inertia drag, something that's absolutely vital for the sort of fishing we do up here, where we're using a lot of 6X, a lot of 7X, fine tippets, fishing for quite big fish sometimes. It's really important to us that we've got that shock absorption from a drag system, and that Shilton drag system is absolutely bulletproof, really, really good quality. It's all held in place pretty simply with a few posi drive screws. I like the fact that Shilton have made this so you could service it yourself if you want to. Uh, you can even go inside there and adjust the drag system so you can get a little bit more or less inertia from it. I must admit I haven't bothered doing that, I didn't need to, I quite like how it's set up as it is. But if you want to, there's instructions in the little booklet here, it shows you how to go in and adjust your drag system for specifically how you want to have it set. Really, really nice touch. You'll see there on the front and the back of the reel, this is a really, really simply finished piece of kit. There's no flashy bits, there's no added bits of carbon, there's no flicks of colour or anything like that. This is a simple workmanlike fishing tool. We'll snap that back on there. In truth, in terms of the package as it comes, that is the deal. I've sort of explained what you've got there. And it's quite difficult until we get on to explaining how it works to sort of justify the cost on a reel like this. But let me tell you, I haven't fished this now since, ooh, March. Uh, spent a lot of time on this reel. Not only has it been the reel that I've used for most of my own fishing, but I've also used this for most of my guiding as well. It's been really, really nice to put this in people's hands. It has been absolutely flawless in pretty much everything I've done with it. You'll have noticed from all the B-roll and stuff, there is not a mark on this reel. As I say, this has been in and out my car. It's been across gravel. It's been dropped on rocks. This, this has gone through all the punishment you would expect a fly fishing guy's reel to go through during the course of the busiest part of the trout season. It's done absolutely everything. It's been out every single day. There is not a fleck on this. It is totally, totally unmarked. And I cannot believe that because my kit takes some real punishment. What that is, is a huge credit to Shilton's finish on this. That type 2 anodizing really is something else in conjunction with that high quality aluminium. To go three or four months in the back of my car without a single scratch on it, there's got to be doing something right. And that is absolutely perfect still. That drag system, not only has it never let me down, it's also saved the day at times. As I said, we fish 7X quite a lot. And I can think of a few times, both up here and down on my other strip, where I was fishing very, very fine tippet, having fish going on pretty strong runs. And I could trust this thing. I just knew I had it set right. I could let it go. And I knew that the drag system wouldn't stick. It wouldn't falter. It wasn't going to jam up. Just let line out as it went. And you could apply enough pressure. And you could feel confident. You knew where your drag was set. That you could just let it do its thing. Landed some really, really nice fish actually on this reel over the last three or four months. And a part of that is down to the quality of that drag system. I really have learned to trust this very, very quickly. It really is an excellent reel, an excellent drag system for those of you who are spending a lot of time like we do in those lower line ratings in the 6Xs, in the 7Xs, even up in the 8Xs. Being able to trust the reel you've got strapped to the rod when you're fishing that light stuff is really important. This one you absolutely can. I've used it almost solely for fly line fishing. I must admit I did try and go in your nymph with this fairly soon after I got it actually. And while the machining is absolutely excellent, everything is fine. As you would expect from most fly reels, there is a slight tolerance up against the end of the frame here. And with it not being a full cage, I found that both my Spanish leader and my French leader, they could creep underneath the gap on there. At Shilton, don't market this as being a urine infant reel. I think if you're the type of person who uses urine infant fly line that's not going to get through that gap, it would be absolutely perfect for that as well. I actually think Shilton could make a really, really good urine infant reel off the back of this. I think there's real potential there. I'm hoping someone at Shilton is looking at this and thinking, actually, yeah, we could do a CR2 Euro. 
with a full cage and that would be a really, really good reel. Please work on that one, Shilton. The bearing that the entire reel functions around is incredibly smooth. It's almost center pin smooth. And it's all held in that waterproof housing down there with the drag system. So again, absolutely nothing to worry about there in terms of durability. It's not held in there like some of the cheaper reels. It's actually held in the waterproof drag housing. So once again, Shilton have looked at this. There's good design there, it's good quality design. Let's put that there in the vulnerable bit. Let's house that in the waterproof area. So that lasts longer, gives people better service over the lifetime of the reel. I think that's the right way to do that. While it is all sealed in there, Shilton are very, very clear in the booklet and on the website that these are not designed as saltwater reels. Shilton do a range of reels specifically for saltwater. And while it is that all the stuff in there is sealed, Shilton don't recommend this for saltwater use. What they say is if you are going to do it, then you want to clean the reel well after use and if the reel gets completely submerged then you're going to want to reassemble it and give it a really good clean afterwards so my advice there would be if you're looking for a reel for both fresh and salt water there might be something else on the market that's a bit more appropriate in truth for me as a guy who's using a, a three to four size reel here there's not a whole lot of salt water use for this thing so for me it didn't really matter but if you are looking for like a seven to eight that you can use on your reservoirs and you can throw in salt water there's probably going to be another shilton in the range that's a bit more appropriate than that one of the other features that's noticeable about this is that it's silent in both directions, both silent on the wind in and on the out. Now I'm a little bit split on this one. So for my own fishing, I much prefer a silent reel. I really don't like clicking reels at all for my own fishing. I'm a bit weird about that. I just don't like the sound. I really don't mind that being quiet. If I need to know if the reel's spin or not, I could just look at it. So for me, I really don't mind that. From a guide's perspective, I actually sort of wish there was a little click on the way out because while, <laughs> while a client's playing a fish, I like to be able to hear what's going on, particularly if a fish is trying to run. And without a click there, I couldn't hear that. So for the vast, vast, vast majority of people, that's not gonna be an issue. Actually, get in the comment section, let me know, guys. Do you prefer a reel with a click, either in or out or both, or do you prefer something like this, which is nice and quiet? As I say, for my own fishing, much prefer a quieter reel. If I'm guiding, I don't mind a click being there, but that is a pretty unique situation for me. So one of the big problems with doing the review on this reel, and I sort of, I knew I was going to encounter this even before I sat down to talk about it, is that there isn't a huge amount here to talk about that's massively quantifiable sort of in the short term. As I say, it's not got any fancy stuff on it. There's no chintzy bits of orange or bits of inlaid carbon or funny little reel seat features. Shilton make reels to last a long time and to be really effective at what they do and all of the fancy stuff pretty much goes out the window. And for me, that is where the value in this reel is. I've used the term value there. We've got to talk price because this isn't a cheap, cheap fly reel. Currently in the UK, you can find these on sale at 369 pounds. Now that is a hell of a lot of money for a small trout reel, don't get me wrong. So we've got to sort of look and say, what, what, who's gonna buy this and why? And don't get me wrong, there are gonna be plenty of people willing to spend that money on a fly reel. At that, you're just below Able Via, you're just below Tibor, you're sort of in and around Nautilus at that price point. So there's some really good reels on the market at this money. So who's gonna buy the Shilton? Well, as I said at the start, all these reels sort of have different personalities and different attractions for different people. If you're that person who's looking at buying a fly reel, they're never gonna to have to replace. Literally never gonna to have to buy another one and you just want something simple, reliable, incredibly solid, built like a tank, nice and lightweight, buy Shilton. Absolutely buy Shilton, definitely. Uh, if you're, this is gonna sound weird, if you're a younger fly angler and you know this is gonna be a lifetime thing and you've got a big birthday or a big Christmas coming up, or if you've got a few people asking, can we buy you a group present or something, ask for a Shilton CR2 for Christmas or for your birthday or for whatever it is you've got coming up because this is something a bit like a, I don't know, a, a buying someone a fancy watch or something like that. This is one of those legacy gifts that is going to last you an absolute lifetime. You never need to replace it. It's going to come with you wherever you go fishing on the planet and it's going to be a perfectly effective trout reel for wherever you go in the whole world. So if you are looking at buying a, a one reel, a lifetime reel, something you can strap to your rod for the next 40 years, geez, there is serious value there because I actually think for that money, that is really, really good value. It's a very good reel. It's built like a tank. It's all fully sealed. Everything's held in place with screws that you can tighten up yourself if it ever works loose, which is probably not going to. There is nothing here to stop you buying this reel. They are about as close to a perfect functional trout fly fishing reel as you'll ever see. No chintz, no flim flam, no nonsense, a rock solid, almost indestructible trout reel that'll sit on any rod anywhere on the planet and not look out of place. Highly recommended. Shilton CR2 gets a big thumbs up from us at the channel here. 
brilliant piece of kit. Glad they're finally available on the UK market. Really looking forward to see what Shilton brings to the market going forwards. They've absolutely nailed this. I'll put some links in the description to this video so you know where you could go out and get yourself a CR2. There's a couple of places in the UK got them kicking around at the moment. Thank you very much to Wade in Waters for providing us this one to do the review on for a couple of months. We appreciate that. I'm a little bit gutted. I've got to give it back. Do get in the comment section. Let us know if you've had any contact with Shilton Reels in the last few years. As I say, they're looking like they're going to get a little bit bigger in the UK now, but it is a crowded market. Let us know what you think of the review. If you've been thinking about Shilton or if you've seen them or you're hoping to see them in your local tackle shops very soon, and IB and I are going to see you very soon for some more fishing, some more reviews and some more stuff. Take care, folks. Bye bye.